Hey everybody, uh, welcome back. Um, had a little bit of a issue with some of my, uh, I believe it's going on with the computer, so I'm trying to get that figured out, but I'm going to do this off my iPhone here today, and I'm not going to be able to edit or cut anything together. I don't know why the iPhone Movie Maker, uh, for some reason when I make movies on it, it records background uh, yeah it records me in the background talking over top of the movie so I don't like using that either I am working on getting a new computer or a new camera and my computer I'm gonna have uh, I have an IS guy that I work with he's gonna take a look at it so anyway I wanted to give you guys a another little update today uh, I don't know if you remember my uh, video over a year ago where I was agreeing with tractor time with Tim where actually blew this tire out lifting too much with this um, it has been a pain in the rear it goes flat every day I've I've tried sliming it it still has a leak and I knew that I ruined that tire when I when I I did it but I've been uh, procrastinating on getting new tires so anyway today uh, it's kind of hard to see Carson and I actually have been out here doing quite a bit of work out here in the garage, cleaning it up, enjoying our time off. She, the kids are out of school, and of course I'm laid off. But as you can see here, I've got four new tires. Uh, these are the Carlisle WT300s. It's kind of hard to see there. There we go. These are supposed to be like a cross between the r4 tires and the turf tires so i've seen some good reviews some good videos online um there's a couple videos so i figured i'd give them a, a shot they are actually cheaper than the r4 tires a little bit so that was another reason why i went with them i think all in all uh i ended up i think it was 340 dollars on amazon shipped to my house and yeah, so one thing that I will say on the Kubota BX1870 and maybe the, the new 1880s, the front tires are actually uh, six inch rims or eight inch rims, I'm sorry, where these, the only thing I could find them in was a 10 inch. These are 18 by 850 by 10s. So I did have to order a set of BX25 uh, uh, front wheels, and the back tires on this are a 12 by or 24 by 12 by 12, whereas the normal bigger versions of the BX run a 26 by 12 by 12. So I will have a little bit bigger uh, front and rear tire on this than what it come with i am hoping it it doesn't cause the tractor to be too mo too much more unstable so i wanted to show a couple more things uh i don't know if i've really shown this this is a sprayer that i built it's supposed to go on the back of a uh an atv i got it at rural king i think i paid 145 or maybe 150 bucks for it and it's just got the one wand in the middle that sprays a really good half or uh, yeah half moon shape I think it's 14 foot and then it also does have the the regular handheld spray wand so that thing works out really nice uh, I spray the yard fertilized with it and then here uh, I, was, I think it was last weekend I went and I actually picked this up. There's a guy here local or here close to me that builds these as a John Deere 71 flex planter. Um, they come in two or four row, or they used to when they were new. Uh, it's an older planter, but anyway, he goes through them. It's got new knives on it. Everything's greased and changed. Uh, he just reconditions them and then builds the three-point hitch for them. Um, they did come with... There's a cast iron bean plate, and then I've got 
The green one here is a bean plate. And then I've got two different uh, corn plates as well for different size corn uh, seeds. I don't know if you guys have noticed the... Uh, yeah, like the Silver Queen corn that I normally plant is kind of a... It's a smaller kernel, and then you get the peaches and cream kernels, and they are... Uh, a little bit bigger so that tends to cause those planters if you try and use the same plates it'll cause them to uh, hang up or they get they get caught up so another thing we've been working on uh, is the gardens here I've got let's see we went with put a fence around this one uh, the rabbits were starting to get into our tomatoes that's all strawberries over there um, I need to go through and weed it Unfortunately, it's been raining here pretty good for the last few days, so uh, just kind of give you a look at that. You can barely see some of our plants in here. If you can see it real well, right there is a tomato plant that's been picked clean before we got the fence up. Carson and I actually put this up yesterday in the rain. Keep keep the uh, the rabbits out and then come back here I'm actually planning on we're gonna clean this up get all this wood burn up I'm gonna take uh, railroad ties and make like a stop sign shape all the way around this and I'm gonna fill it with some decorative gravel and then put the fire ring on top of it give us a spot where you can sit out back here when we're having fires we don't have to worry about the mud and then this is our big garden, which I've already went through and planted it. Again, not having a camera guy makes it a little bit hard. Uh, we've got seven rows of beans, and I think I have, I think it was 14, 13 or 14 rows of sweet corn planted out here. And there's two different varieties, the peaches and cream and the uh, silver queen. And then out here also, you can see the pepper plants that we planted. My plan is to actually put up a fence all the way around this too. But the fence we're going to put up out here is not going to be like that that we put up there. Um, I'm actually just going to go with two wires um, that are that are electrified just trying to keep the raccoons out of the corn <coughs> we've got the peppers onions carrots sweet peas and then cucumbers planted out here which you can see i built a trellis out of some of that fence that i have there too so i've been pretty busy here trying to be or trying to stay pretty busy here in the last weeks I've been off work so trying to get quite a bit done got the pool we're actually in the process of shocking it getting it cleaned up getting it opened up for the year um, this was a real dark green as you can see now it's more of a light green or blue tealish color still a little cloudy we just started doing everything to it here uh, recently so like over this past weekend we got the pump on poured some shock in it then we're doing the algae side and all that now and then we'll get the uh, the rest of it cleaned out so yeah and then still a mess out here we are working on it like i said we actually have moved the dogs to where they're in the first cage here i'm going to get rid of that rabbit hutch there clean all this up the dogs have this big house it's their dog house 
Oh, girl! Boy! Well, they tend to like it out here. I'm gonna come out here and get some uh, dog food cleaned up. And then the chickens, I've got them a run built to keep them in just for now, but we are going to uh, expand that run out for their chicken coop. That old nesting box there was in that doghouse that we took it out in order to uh, get the dogs in there. I just haven't done anything with it. I'm not sure if I'm going to try and give it away or just burn it, but it is, uh, yeah, it'll be going bye-bye soon. So Anyway, I just wanted to kind of give you guys an update again another update uh, show you guys what I've been up to not dump trucking and not out tilling gardens uh, but uh yeah this is where we're at so all right I'm gonna get back to uh, cleaning out the garage here um, yeah oh I, I guess that's a good good time to end it and we'll uh we'll say thanks for watching and stay safe thanks and god bless